Sayyidina Anas bin Malik radiyallahu an, a very famous name, Sayyidina Anas bin Malik radiyallahu an, whenever he would finish the Qur'an, what would he do? He would gather his family, he would gather his children, and they would make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What does this show us? This shows us that as a family, we should be worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala together. Let me ask you now, and I ask myself the same question, how many of us worship together as a family? When was the last time you prayed as a family? When was the last time you listened to a lecture on YouTube or anything as a family? When was the last time you attended an event as a family? When was the last time you prayed Salah in congregation as a family? When was the last time you gathered your children and you said, let's all sit, it's Thursday night, let's make dua for our deceased parents, let's make dua for our deceased family members, let's all gather today and do dhikr, let's gather and send salawat upon the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When was the last time you did this? Forget last time, have you ever done this? Have we ever gathered as a family? Where the father is present, the mother is present, the sons are present, the daughters are present, the children are present. You sit together as a family and you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When was the last time this happened? Or has it ever happened? Yes, if it's not happened, make it happen. If you nurture your children around Islam, they will grow up to be Muslims. If you do not nurture them around Islam, they will most likely leave the faith.